Welcome to my channel guys. The following video may start off a little slow, but that's because I'd like to actually go to the places I'm talking about. I don't want this channel to be, oh, this is your life problems, this is your solution. No, no, no. I'm here to go to those places with you and show you how I got from, I rise from them step by step with a live demonstration of me. Like I might even start off in the video like I'm really in my head, I'm really spacey, I'm really foggy, I'm like, like low vibration and throughout the video I start applying the techniques I'm teaching you and coming up and raising my, my vibration to show you how you can solve your problems because I've been through them and I'm showing you what works for me. I hope you guys enjoy. How are you doing today? I wanted to talk to you guys about this man I saw today. Start up a little story. I feel like I, I like I feel like they sound better when I start up with a story. Out here in nature, testing out my new sound, my new sound quality, because I just got some dead animal fur to throw over the mic. So it's gonna be nice to see how that comes out too. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about this man I saw. He was in a wheelchair today. No, I'm not putting anyone down for being in a wheelchair. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a wheelchair. It's just by the look on this man's face, by his tonality, by his expressions, by his energy. Like, there was just clear, utter depression on this fit man's face. He didn't look like he was some man who, I don't know, went to war and got shot in the leg and now he's got to be in a wheelchair. He didn't look like he's some guy who got in a car accident and now he's got to be in a wheelchair. He looked like he was sick, he was sad, he was depressed, he was overweight, and he let his mind lie to him and tell him that he's going to be happy if he's just comfortable, if he's just relaxed in his life, if he's just doing things that make him feel good, you know. This is really what I wanted to talk about in this video, how your mind, I saw it myself this weekend, I, uh, better for me to explain it with the stories. I went, I went to go visit my family this weekend. I didn't shoot a video in a few days. And see, now I'm trying to get back into it. I gotta keep doing it. I noticed when when I got back, I mean, you guys are probably seeing this. You guys probably have jobs. You've gone away on vacation. And when you get back, it's so much harder to go back on that first day. Especially, there's one thing when you're ready at work and you're just doing it. It's a way of life. When you're there, you're just doing it. You're just knocking it out. But when you get up, your motivation, your mind is just like, my parents were just taking care of me. They took me out to eat. They buy me some clothes. You know, they tried to put me in a nice environment, keep me happy, keep me relaxed. They were taking care of me. And then I got really, really comfortable. I got relaxed. Yeah, sure, I was happy then. I was having some fun then. But then I get back home and I go to the real world. I don't want to go to work no more. I honestly was like, oh God, I want to just quit my job right now today. But how realistic is that? Sure, we're... we're I'm gonna keep it going along with the story. Like, let's say I did quit my job, right? Let's say I did quit my job today. Let's say, yeah, I did quit my job today. Then what? My parents were taking care of me. You know, I got relaxed, I got comfortable, I quit my job. Then what? Maybe I, instead of having to go to work today, I could have sat at home on a couch watching TV, playing Xbox, eating pizza. <laughs> you know, honestly, that sounds awesome right now. Like, I don't know about you, but I kind of, I really like the sound of sitting at home on a couch, watching TV, playing Xbox, and eating pizza. I got video games I want to play that I haven't gotten around to playing. Been too busy for that. But then what happens the next day? What happens tomorrow when I wake up and I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent? How am I gonna pay my car insurance? How am I gonna put gas in my car? How am I gonna put food on the table? How am I gonna take my girlfriend and my kid out so that we can go have some family fun and I just have to be home all day? What am I gonna do when I get to the point with my brother yesterday? He had to break a five dollar bill. He was getting some food. I didn't let him do it. I, I was like, keep, keep your money. But he was gonna break a five dollar bill to put three dollars, to put the three dollars difference on the food we were getting. I was this look in his face, like so cringy, such fear, such discomfort and having to spend the money. I'm not, I'm not putting him down. I'm just saying, you don't want to be in that position where you're just so afraid of everything, where it, 
where you gotta put three dollars down and it's, it makes you uncomfortable. I've been there. I was there recently. I recently that was unemployed and I had to go walk every day to get take my son to school. It was raining hard days. I got soaked. I got wet. So did he. I didn't have money to put gas in my car. I didn't have money to do anything. I was worried I was going to pay my rent. It's like, this is just, this is the world we live in now. We don't live in this like, I don't know, perfect world where you don't have to work. You don't have to worry about making money. You don't have to worry about paying your bills. You got to do something. Thinking about the man now. Like, let's say, okay, what if you don't have to work? What if you don't have to make money? I feel like it, it will get to a better point in this video if I go there. Let's say, I don't know, you did break your legs. You are in a wheelchair. The government's giving you disability. They're giving you Section 8. They're giving you food stamps. They take you where you need to go. And you ain't got to do nothing. Sounds really, sounds really, really nice. But that's one of those things. I hate to take, keep taking examples and things from uh, RSD, but it's like communism. It sounded good on paper, but in practice, it didn't work out the way you thought it was going to. The human mind is really easy for the media to tell you, yeah, 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 you want to have this life. You want to be relaxed. You want to be comfortable. I mean, who doesn't want to be rich, famous? I mean, not, not everyone wants to be famous, but who doesn't want to be rich? comfortable happy relaxed feel like you don't have to do nothing feel like you can sit at home in your mansion all day take your car out go to i don't know walmart whenever you want and buy whatever the hell you want to get there whatever store you want to go to you girl you want to go to your clothes store and you go get all your clothes it sounds nice it sounds wonderful to just not have to worry about things everybody wants that but when but your mind is trying to trick you into getting there in the wrong way to doing this the wrong way when you go out there and you actually put all the time and the work in to be there, then you can appreciate it. But you probably don't want to hear that. I was... What I do want to tell you is that if you let your mind trick you and tell you that that's where your happiness is going to be and just being comfortable and just being relaxed and not having to worry about anything, if you actually get to that point where you don't have to do anything, it's depressing. Honestly, that's really what I want to put into the point of this video. It's depressing. Let's say you don't have to do anything for the next 20 years, the rest of your life, but I'm just gonna, I'm putting it in a time frame. It could be the rest of your life, but I'm just gonna say the next 20 years, you don't have to do anything. What happens to you? Let's say uh, you're a man or you're a woman. You get married. Your husband or wife is the most beautiful person you ever met in your life. They're rich, they're successful, they take care of you, they love you for who you are, and they just want you to be the happiest they can be, so they spoil you, they buy you everything, they take care of you, they give you everything you need. But then 20 years down the line, you know how much more likely it is for you to end up that sick, sad, and depressed, overweight man in a wheelchair? Probably almost guaranteed. Let's say you don't have to do anything. You don't need to worry about your diet. You don't need to worry about your health. You don't need to worry about your exercise. You don't have to do anything. You don't got to work. You literally got to do nothing. Where's the happiness in that? Where's the real enjoyment in that? It sounds wonderful. I mean, there's a powerful thing to, to relax in, to going on vacations, to just breathing, meditating. It's powerful. It's necessary. It's a way of life. But when you let yourself get into a state where you're just not doing anything, the longer it goes on... <coughs> I need some water. The longer... Oh, I'm brown. All this water and I need, I need water. That's what humans are like. I got everything they want. I got everything they need. And he's like, I got, I need something else. Yeah, you got everything you want. You got everything you need. You don't got the happiness though. It doesn't just come. You need to be able to, you need to do something, honestly. Even if you're rich, if you're successful already, give back. Get out of your own way. Go exercise, go diet. Because I'm trying to tell you here, when you don't have to do anything, when there's no pressure on you to do anything, when you don't have a reason, you don't have a purpose in life, it's really easy for you to just, you get comfortable, you get relaxed, you sit down more, you eat more junk food, your brain, your brain, your mind is gonna tell you you want that. It's gonna pump 
the chem certain chemicals in your brain so that it's gonna tell you these activities are good. These are the things I wanna do. These are the things I wanna consume. <coughs> Man, I don't wanna mess up this video. Like I gotta get water. I'll be back. What are doing? Coming back to you on this road. Walking down the street because where cars can go because I was trying to find a new spot so I wanted to continue this video. Everywhere I went, it was like, there's someone there, there's someone there, there's someone there. Oh, I can't shoot my video because they're there. And I'm just like, I gotta just do it. I can't be here worried about other people. I'm never gonna get anywhere. If I'm worried about if other people are looking at me, what they think of me, what I'm saying. I gotta be able to just get out there and just yell and be free no matter what. So we have this beautiful park right here. Lovely looking place. Ooh. Right, so what I was talking about this is the mind. It wants to trick you. The mind, it's always, it's always the way, the reason we have so much troubles with our mind is because they're always in like survival mode. At least when you're stressed out, when you have a lot of anxiety, when you're unwell rested, your mind just goes into survival mode and it stays there. So what is this survival mode like? It likes it when you're comfortable. It likes it when you don't have to worry about anything, when you're relaxed, when you're free and it's like, you're now you're wondering like, okay, so what's the problem though? What's the problem with my mind telling me to be relaxed and comfortable and free? Isn't that what we want? What I'm trying to tell you is that that's what your mind is telling you you want. That's what the media is telling you you want. But when you actually get it, when you actually don't have to worry about anything, when you don't have any problems, when you're not doing it in your life, I'm just gonna say then what? Because my mind, I'm like gonna, I wanna feel like I wanna say that's, that's, that's an easy way to get depressed, but you guys probably don't wanna hear about that. You guys probably don't wanna hear that side of it. It's a nice bridge over there. I gotta go, gotta go film this video over there. But, if you don't have any problems in your life, you don't have anything to worry about, and you just let yourself fall into this like sloof of like laziness, it sticks. Then you're not gonna wanna do anything. Then when you gotta do something, you're not gonna wanna do it. You're gonna be afraid to do things. This morning, I was terrified of having to go to work. I was terrified of having to shoot this video. As I'm shooting this video right now, this is a perfect time to talk about this because I feel really awkward about this. I'm not comfortable. I'm not really myself. I'm not as engaging and just like, ah, like attacking the camera with information or knowledge. My brain isn't ready to just fire it up. But that's because I was relaxing over the weekend. So I said I was with my parents. I didn't have to worry about anything. They were taking care of me. And now all I had to do was be there. Try to be good energy, good vibes, you know, laugh, smile, give them a good time too. But then when I had to get back to work, I had to get back to the real world. I didn't want to do anything. And maybe you're saying, for the guy who doesn't have to do anything, either way, is that really a happy life? I'm really, I'm really trying to paint this picture of you. I'm trying to get you to imagine that you're really, you're sitting in your mansion. You got your husband, you got your wife, you got your kids, you're rich, you're famous, you're successful, you have everything you can want. It's like the more, it's really, I'm really trying to paint this picture because the more I describe it, I'm just, I'm feeling this sickness come up in me and I'm trying to really express to you that there's a sickness to that. And there's a lot of rich kids out there who you would think because they have everything, it's like, why aren't they happy? Why aren't they just running around? You do you, a rich kid just running around jumping jolly free for no reason? Those are just regular children. Usually lots of times poor children who are just happy running around carefree and worry free. But when you're rich and you have everything, a lot of those kids actually are depressed. A lot of them are suicidal. You might actually be more likely to commit suicide and you're definitely more likely to try drugs or, you know, crazy sexual activities, I'll just call it. You know, not that there's anything wrong with it, but there's an extent that maybe you shouldn't go to. But I want you to really just imagine this. Imagine this right now, that you're sitting in your home. As you're watching this video, you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to do. It sounds beautiful. It sounds so peaceful. It's like the ultimate goal and the realization. But what I found recently is that that's when I actually got my most depressed. When I was sitting at home, I didn't have to work. 
I didn't have to do anything. I was just like, oh, let's try to play some Xbox. It's like, what do you do with your life then? When you're sitting at home, you have nothing to do. Is the happiness that you're looking for just gonna come to you? That's really the real point. If you're, not, if you're happy, no matter if you're happy, if you're gonna be happy, then you know, there's nothing to talk about. You don't need to watch no self-help video if you're already as happy as you can be if you ain't got no problems but if you sitting at home and you know you're not as happy as you can be yeah yeah you got all your problems you got your concerns you got your worries you got your bills maybe you got a family you got all these things you got to take care of but what i'm trying to tell you is that if someone just came into your life right now and they solved every one of your problems when you're stuck in this loop that you have problems that you have to do this so that you can be here you need this so you can get that you need this to be happy you need that to be relaxed you're never gonna find it because you're telling yourself you're creating you're telling yourself you're telling your brain that you're not happy as you are now you're not okay you're not complete you're not whole as you are now and that you need something else and then what happens when you get that thing you still have that mindset that's really the important thing here is you still have that mindset that you needed that so you can be happy. I'm trying to think about where I want to go with this video. But I really, since I've said this a couple times, but I guess I'm really trying to convey this idea to you that I really. I just, I, I wanted to leave my job so badly. I hated my job, my last one. I was working at night. I was a truck driver. I got stigmatism. I was wearing two pairs of glasses, one to help me help me see, one to for all the lights in my eyes that are just blinding me and irritating. I was, I was drifting all over the place on the road. Like I was just so messed up, so screwed up. I, couldn't see straight I was falling asleep in my job I, I feel like I'm going there my head was always foggy and cloudy I was always anger and upset and I wanted to quit that job so badly when I got laid off I think that was a blessing to get laid off but when I got laid off maybe there's that there's that initial buzz that I'm okay but how long did it really take before my mind's like okay what's the next thing I got to do what do I got to do next? What do I got to do now? How am I going to be happy? How am I going to move forward? And even if somebody had given me, you know, they said, I'm going to give you $2,000 a week for the rest of your life for no reason. Imagine someone just said that. Then what are you going to do with your time? How am I really going to be happy? Am I going to just spend all my time and energy trying to go on vacations, trying to chase all this happiness? And like I said, that you're not going to find if you're trying to chase after it like that is like, I had all this free time in my hands, but then sometimes what happens when you have free time, then you have time to be depressed, you have time to be anxiety. Sometimes when you're really, really, really busy, you really focus, you're moving forward in life, sometimes what cures you of the depression and the anxiety is you don't have time for it, you don't have energy for it. You got other things you gotta do, you got something you gotta focus on. Right now I'm trying to focus on this video, it's like I ain't got time. I mean, I don't feel depressed right now, but it's like, cause I'm doing this. Cause I ain't got time to be depressed. If I had just put my tail between my legs, had just went home, have not committed myself to having to come out here and make this video, like I felt it happening. Try to get some self-awareness in you, but I felt it as it was happening, as even in the thought of me just going home. Like, like I, I miss my family. I want to spend time with them. If I had gone straight home, I could have picked up my son from school. I could have got my met up with my girlfriend. I could have been like, yo, girl, get ready. We're going to go out. Put your makeup, put your hair on. Get yourself dressed. We're going to go get some food. Or we're going to just go, whatever, girl. Have some fun. And that sounds nice. That's what I wanted to do. But then I couldn't help this sickness of knowing that I wasn't going to come out here. And I wasn't going to make this video. And then I know if I don't keep making these videos, if I don't keep up the momentum, once, once you lose momentum, it's hard to get back. And if you don't keep doing it when you jump off the bandwagon when you let yourself get into these comfort zones it's like it's like a sinking ship like the mind is gonna grab you and it just it makes it that much harder to come out once you're in it because you know once you relax you're comfortable you don't have to worry about anything who wants to get up and go do something I didn't want to have to go to work today I was tired I had to wake up early I didn't sleep that much and I didn't want to have to do it but I knew I had to do it so I got up and I did it 
Just like this video here. If I didn't do it, what's the alternative? It sounds nice right now. It sounds so wonderful. It sounds so beautiful right now. I'm really trying to paint this picture. So just go home, relax. Maybe you like to drink a beer, whatever you like to do. Watch some TV, go on the internet. Whatever it is you want to do, it sounds wonderful. Just be with your family, be happy, have fun. Yeah, this is these are the things you want to do. But when that's all you have time, then when you have nothing else to do and that's all you're trying to do, it gets like weird after a while. Like maybe I'm even gonna say because maybe even it's like awkward. Like it doesn't feel right. Cause it's like, what do you do? You wake up every single day and it's like, okay, how am I gonna be happy today? What kind of a mindset is that? How am I gonna be happy today? What am I gonna do to make myself happy today? You're telling yourself that you're not happy, that you weren't already happy, that you didn't wake up happy, you're not happy you're alive, you're out there looking for it, and you're not gonna find it by looking for it like that. <sighs> a lot about facing my fears really realize that right now even as right now I'm doing this video I see people over there there's a guy over there someone went and sat at the bridge I wanted to go film on it's like I feel like I shouldn't be worried about these people though I don't know why I guess I'm getting like social anxiety because I'm like oh, I'm not gonna be able to talk the same way at the camera. I'm not gonna be able to be as loud, as expressive. I feel like I could already hear it. I feel it here, it's coming in my chest where I feel myself not being open, not being expressive because I'm worried about people hearing me, judging me, what they're gonna say about me and I gotta be ab above that. But the reason I'm trying to really get out of here, face my fears and just do this no matter what is because I've realized from not doing it, from having opportunities where I could be lazy, having opportunities where I could relax, like you might not understand it because you're probably you have to actually go through it through the experience to really understand that like next time you really just have a period of like months where you don't where you know you don't have to really worry about anything see if you get happier that way if you get worse this tree looks interesting going inside of a tree there's a fire hiding here for some reason I think this looks like a beautiful shot. My face might be dark, where's that light? What's this say? It isn't cloudy. But yeah, I'm out here. Ah, so out of there. Cause I, I took I took too long off. Like it's only it's only been a few days and you think, oh, took a few days off that's no big deal like I literally I just took a few days off for making videos from work and it was two days two looking around too where else I can go some of these places are interesting two days off I took off two days where I didn't have to worry about anything where I had my my needs being taken care of where I was with my parents I was with my family we were just being happy having fun you know excited they were taking care of us buying us food and stuff just two days of that and I come back I'm not saying I came back and I'm all depressed and sad and full of anxiety and just like don't want to do anything but I came back I definitely didn't want to go to work today like when I was just doing it before I left I was just on my grind like on my house I was just go 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 do 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 just like full go no breaks just all gas and I didn't have to think about it I just did it I took literally two days off and it's like coming back to this now it feels like I'm trying to force it I had to force myself to get up and go to work. I had to force myself to come out here to this field right now and face my fears, face my anxiety. There's not even that many people here. Like I really, I should be doing videos with like hundreds of people walking by and not even care. Three people back there. And now I'm going this way. But you gotta face your fears. I'm trying to tell you if you don't, your mind loves the comfort. It loves grabbing you, latching you down. Your mind just wants you to survive. It doesn't want you to grow. It's not concerned about your dreams. Hey. Now. <sighs> see, now this is where I'm talking about when my anxiety comes in. I see the people there. Now I get quieter. I'm moving over. It's like I don't want them to hear me. Uh, I gotta face my fear today. Shit, this is starting to look like private property. Probably be on that wall though. I think I'm okay here. <sighs> my mind is not concerned. Oh, that's why I should talk about my mind right now. 
is not concerned about I'm trying to make this video. It's not concerned about I'm trying to help you guys educate people, trying to help bring up other people. It's not concerned about me wanting to have a successful career, successful life, build up my own name, my own brand, have my own followers, my own views. I don't know if that's in frame. How's that look for you guys? My mind isn't concerned about none of this. What are my mind's concerned about? The people walking around. Are they gonna hail me? They're gonna judge me. How do I sound? What do you guys think of me? That's where my mind's going. It's like, oh, let's just go home. Let's just hide. Let's do nothing. Just be in our little safe box and eat pizzas. That's what my brain is telling me to do. That's what it wants to do. Right now, I would probably be the most comfortable if I went home. I sat down on the couch. I ate pizzas. I, I drank chocolate milk. I play Xbox. I would be comfortable there. Mentally, physically, how would I feel? I feel the best coming out here. How do I really feel? I love this shit. I love coming out here. I love making these videos. I'm not afraid of anything in my real feelings and my body is not concerned about it. It's my mind that's telling me these tricks and lying to me. My body knows though, if I go home and even, I don't even need, I could eat fruits, I could eat vegetables, but just sitting down playing Xbox, that's my focus, I'm gonna feel sick. I can't do that no more. When I was 17, I used to play hours and hours a day. Now, maybe I was sick then, but I wasn't in touch with my feelings. Now I know I'm sick. Now I know I don't feel good doing it. Now I know I feel worse from doing it. And same thing with the bad food. I go home, I'm gonna feel worse. Hey, now my head's going all over the place because I gotta go to the bathroom. <sighs> Be back. You know what I love about these videos? But I think is the best part, what makes them... I think they're good. Honestly, forget what you guys think. I think they're good. I know I'm not the best speaker yet. Maybe, you know, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I'm not the best speaker yet. I'm working on it. It's practice. But what I really like is I... Whatever I'm talking about, the place I'm coming from, I try to really go there. The feelings, the emotions, the expressions, everything that's going on in your mind. I try to go there. Everything that's going on in my mind, I'm trying to describe. I try to actually go there. I try to be there. I try to be one with those feelings and like embrace it. And I'm trying to literally show you, like when you're watching these videos, they're an experience. Like I'm not just telling you, this is how I feel. This is how I want to feel. This is um, what I do to feel differently. Like it's not just that. Like I'm literally in my mind I'm going to the place I'm talking about. When I'm talking about it, like I know because I've been there and I'm taking myself there and I'm feeling it, I'm experiencing it. And I'm literally, not only am I going there, that's where I started. And then throughout the video, I'm trying to lift myself up through there. Like I'm not only, am I telling you what techniques, what methods am I use? I'm actually doing it. I'm applying it, I'm getting out here. And it's like, I start off down here and this is the bad paradigm. This is where you don't want to be. This is that thing that's making you feel bad. And then I take it, I really go there. And then I really elevate myself up. I don't just stay there feeling bad, feeling down. It's like, as I doing this, I bring up my vibration. I bring up my energy, the techniques, the methods, the things I'm telling you, I'm applying them in the video. As I'm doing this video is like, like I said, I'm out here actually doing it. I'm out here actually facing my fears, actually facing my anxiety, actually just pushing through, just grinding through and making myself do this. Like I'm not here just like, this is some subject, this is some topic I wanna talk about. I understand it, I feel it. I know what it's like to be down, to be depressed, to be full of anxiety, to not know what to do with your life, to be worried about spending a couple of dollars. This place looks nice. And I know what it's like to not. It is like, now I'm getting to the point where I'm going to start repeating myself, but I'll sum up that point with saying this, I'm really going to this place where you're down, where you don't know what to do in your life, you're lost, you're scared, you're confused, you're tired, you don't want to get up and do anything. And as I'm making these videos, I'm lifting myself up by doing what I'm trying to show you guys to do. My motto is only your actions can change your life. And my words should be taken as instructions. That's the motto for my channel. <sighs> Out here, actually doing this. 
to face some more of my fears a moment ago. I needed to go to the bathroom. I ain't close to where I live. So I'm gonna say I had to find a place to go to the bathroom. There's a few people around, but I made it away without a problem. This place, so amazing. And I've never walked through here before. Hope you guys like these places I go to and enjoy the scenery of it. I feel like that's my way of trying to do more for these videos. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people who got a lot of fancy editing and I do need to get better. I was making some fancy edits, making these videos look cleaner, maybe thumbnails and stuff. But actually coming out here and just breathing this air, not just talking to you like a computer, and it's like, like as I said, these are how you feel and this is what you should do. I'm like, I'm out here trying to experience it. I'm trying to go to the place where you are and I'm trying to show you a live demonstration of me rising up out of it. Forgetting all my fears and worries. Don't worry about people. I saw people there, but I'm gonna still sing my song and I'm not gonna let them quiet my voice this time. As I walk down this path, letting go of my fears, of anxiety, of being lazy. You know, that's had me thinking. Gotta get back to the video was supposed to be about. feeling good I'm feeling pumped up right now I don't know about you guys shoot this is what I'm talking about though I go do these videos you face your fear you get out of there you get out of your own way you push through the struggles you overcome challenges you want challenges in your life to overcome you don't want to let yourself get lazy and just be pulled down by your own self you don't want to be the own killer of your dreams I want you to go out there chase your dreams go after them go live them go do what you got to do work hard struggle maybe have a couple sleepless nights but don't let it go on too long do what you got to do I just wanted to jump into this segment right here because I saw this tree there. Thought it looked nice. This feels here. Thought they looked nice too. Shot this after I finished the video. I'm gonna re-edit it, put it in the video. But damn though guys. Just, I'm in this pump, I'm in this energy, I'm in this state. It's from getting out here and doing it. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This is what I'm trying to teach you. This is what I'm trying to show you is that I got out of my own way. I was afraid, I was tired, I was uncomfortable, I was having anxiety. I, I just wanted to go home and eat food, be with my family and not have to do anything. Or at least not do anything hard, just go have fun. Just go out, just party a little bit, just relax, just drink. Just, you know, take it easy, take a nap. But I know, and I felt it in my stomach because I develop a lot of self-awareness, which I would like for you to do too. Try to notice how your body feels in response to things. But I could tell immediately when those first thoughts came in my head, there was a sickness with it. There was unaliveness to it and it's just, I knew I had to get out of here and do this and this was scary for me. This was hard right now. Even just, I took two days off of filming. Just two days off of filming. It was so scary. It was so like different to me. I just, I kept, I was thinking about, I was starting to have negative thoughts about my videos. When I was just doing it, doing it, I didn't have to think about it. I just did it. There's a beauty to not having to think about things and just doing it. And then when I wasn't doing it, I'm home thinking about it. I'm like, oh, are my videos good enough? Oh, am I ever gonna make it? Oh, what am I gonna make my next video about? What's gonna be my next topic? What am I gonna talk about? How long am I gonna talk about that little thing? Am I gonna end up making another three minute video and it's not gonna be good and not gonna get views? Am I stealing too many people's information? There's a lot of copying and cheating going on and everything. You know, they say the greatest artist steal. Not that I'm trying to steal, it's not like, not like I go, I watch someone's video, I write down notes and I'm like, I'm gonna say all of these points that he said, I'm gonna make the same exact video, but it's gonna be my video. But we all watch people, we all learn from people. You should be doing the same. You can't learn everything you gotta learn. There are great people out there. Someone who, who another person who helped change my life. Like I mentioned RSD Tyler a lot, he's helped me a lot. Another person who changed me, really inspired me to get out of my way. And it was like, now I feel like I'm ready to make my videos. At Cartel. He's not about that doing, doing, doing lifestyle. He's more about 
relaxing, going with the flow, being present, being engaged in life, high energy, high vibrations. All your problems and your worries are because you think too much. But then you gotta get into that site, that mindset of do, 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 and you gotta just hustle and you gotta get stuff done. Tyler's helped me a lot with that. And our Toro's helped me pull it back so I could relax and not be so stressed out and I could actually enjoy the process and be happy in my life either way, which is what I want for you guys. <sighs> this shot looks nice. Here in some water, water. I just wanted to bring up, I just got a text message from my coworkers asking me, yo, can you work Thursday? I mean, I won't, I'll spare you the details, but he's like, yo, Thursday, you're not scheduled. Can you come in? My mind, I want to be like, hell no. I need my day off. I ain't getting no days off. That's my one day off. You want to take away my one day off? You want to take away my one day off? I need a rest. I got to do stuff. I got to go to the DMV. They call it r &V here. I got to take my girlfriend out. She getting tight because I don't pay attention to her. I got stuff to do. I need to relax. I need to sleep. I can't be waking up early because to go to your store, I got to wake up extra early. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go anyway. You know why I'm going to go anyway? Because if I take one day off, it makes it that much easier for me to keep taking days off. It makes it that much easier. If I, if I make this excuse for one day, it's gonna be that much easier next time I make that excuse. And then next time I make that excuse. And then how many times do I make that excuse? How long does it go on? What am I really gaining out of it? When I go to work every day, then I can just do it, do it. I don't have to think about it. It's like it's just full go, no breaks, trying to avoid all the mental fatigue because it's really, that's what drains you. It's the, all the mental fatigue, all the judgment, all your mind thinking. I'm getting caught up in violence here. I can't be thinking about it. I gotta be focused on you. No mental fatigue. So it's like I could stay home, I could relax, but then and be like, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm a little, I feel bad for other people at times. A lot of people don't really have that quality where they feel bad for people. It makes it easier for you to get taken advantage of though when you feel bad for people. But it's like, then I'm gonna be in my mind, like, oh, I let him down. Oh, when's, my, when's the next time a coworker's gonna ask me to work? What if somebody else asks me to cover for them? You know, it just, it could go on and on like that with all these, you do one, you make one rationalization and then you make a dozen. You could literally go on all day, all the whole your life like this. And it's just like, at the end of the day, why not just do it? Why not just do it? I'm out here right now. I don't know how long this video has been, but I spent, I don't look at the time right now. I got out of work at 2. It's 3.52 right now. So I spent almost two hours trying to do this video. From driving around, picking locations, walking around, finding a place to go to the bathroom, then actually filming it, actually talking about it, trying to get into the energy, trying to keep my energy up, trying to be ready to just keep spitting and talking on camera, just throwing more information and more good, hopefully good information out with you guys, but importantly say something. I put a lot of time and work into this video. But I'm not really thinking about it. I'm not here. You can't, I can't sit, I can't go home and be like, ah, I worked so hard in this video, nobody watched it. I put so much time and work in and nobody respects me, nobody cares about me. So what? Maybe I gotta make this video for 20 years. I gotta make videos every day. Imagine that, for 20 years, maybe even something I even consider when I get really, really good, I wanna put out more than one video a day. Not just short three minute, four minute, five minute videos, 20, 50 hour long videos, several ones a day. Me getting out here and just doing it. But making videos like this about more than one subject, making it better and better, putting out more and more content, just getting, building my name, building my brand, and it's just like, I could go home right now. I could be home eating pizza, sitting down, doing nothing, relaxing, trying to, you know, relax, have some fun. A lot of different ways to do that. You pick yours, I'll pick mine. But it's like, what's gonna happen though 20 years from now when the time passes and I'm still 
working at the same job because I never went out here. I never committed myself to making these videos. I never made the choice that this is what I'm gonna do no matter what, do or die. It's just this has to get done. What's gonna happen to me? I made it over to this bridge I wanted to get at earlier. Turns out it's a dam. I don't know how you guys hear me. But this is perfect because I wanted to test out my new sound quality. Like I said, a lot of wind going too. This is going to be real good to test out. See how well uh, my wind is getting thrown off. You guys hear my voice with all this noise going on. But yeah, let me tell you what's going to happen to me. If I don't come here and I don't do these videos, the time is going to pass. The time's gonna pass, all right? And I'm just gonna tell you the straightforward answer. I'm gonna grow into a sick, sad, and depressed and overweight man. If I let myself just give in to whatever my mind tells me to do, I think the difference between a crazy person and a sane person is that we all hear voices and we all hear things that our mind tells us to do and our body wants us to do. Our body pumps chemicals to tell you to do this, to do that, because it thinks it's good for you. Now, I think the difference between someone who's considered crazy and someone who's considered sane is that the same person knows not to listen to everything his brain says. He knows that it might not be right. The crazy person, on the other hand, they get a thought, they think that has to be the right thought. They have to always be right. Because it was a thought in their head, they generated it. So that makes you right, that makes it your thought, when it could just be something random from outside of you influenced you. It could be racist. Right? And you see, I don't want to pick on anyone. You just see somebody you races against come up to you. And you're just like, ah! Oh! You like, you have your automatic thoughts, your impulses. You're like, oh, those people, they're bad. They're ugly. They're dirty. They're whatever you think about them. They're dumb. But it's like, he could just be a regular person. He could be really nice. He could be really friendly. You had your thoughts already. You, had, you made your assumptions. But that doesn't mean that they're right. You know, it doesn't mean that you're right. Your brain's not always right. Your brain wants you to survive. It doesn't want you to grow and thrive. So what's gonna happen to me if I don't come out here and I didn't force myself, ah, I'm falling. If I didn't come out here and force myself to make this video and I went home and I'd be lazy, I'm gonna get stuck in a pattern of laziness. I'm not gonna come out tomorrow and make a video. Every day that I don't do it, it gets scarier, it gets harder, it gets more challenging. When you, yeah, that's, that's it right there. Every day I don't do it, it's gonna get harder. You think, working out, you're like, oh, I'll take today off, I'm tired. What happens the next time you're tired? You're gonna, it's much more likely you're not gonna do it. And it's like, you take a day off here or there, that's fine, that's okay. You take one day off a week, I mean, sometimes that's really what you need. You need two days off a week, sometimes you need those days off. But if you, if you catch yourself slacking, if you're not wanting to get back and do the work, then maybe you need to do the work even more. Maybe you need to get even more into it, more devoted, more committed, get out there, force yourself to do it. Because if you let yourself get lazy and comfortable, it's only a matter of time before you end up being the overweight man in a wheelchair at an early age just because his knees won't support himself anymore because he's never exercised, he's never stretched, he's never ate well, he doesn't have a labor-inducing job, he doesn't have anything that forces him to get out of his own way, he has no reason to get even get out of that chair, he just, he goes in that chair, he gets in his car, then he goes to his job where he sits down all day even more and it's like if you there, if you stuck there, I'm not putting anyone down who's in a wheelchair, I'm just talking about that guy who's, the man who's in a wheelchair with a look of depression on his face because the reason he got in that wheelchair because he let himself get there because he gave up on himself a long time ago and in a really really slow process he deteriorated he aged faster and he became a form a shell of what he used to be I want you guys to get out there today and do do this for yourself do something for yourself do something for yourself get out of your own way don't let the fear hold you because it's like what could happen to me? I could do these videos and maybe I gotta do it every day for 20 years before they take off. But it's like, at least I did them. 
even if they never take off, I still did it. I got out here. I was in nature. I was walking around. I was breathing air. I'm more motivated to work out and take care of myself and eat right because I have a purpose. I have a reason. So even if it never went anywhere, the fact that I became a better person is all the reward that you can ever ask for. And then if it does go somewhere, that'd be great. That'd be happy. Now I can enjoy it more. Now it's more wonderful. Now it's more meaningful because I put all that time and work into growing myself. And now I know how to keep myself there because I can keep growing myself. Myself. I could keep moving forward but if I just let myself go I feel like I'm gonna do this one then I'm a then I'm gonna cut into the ending clip I shot already if I just let myself go then every single day that's there'll be if I let myself accept one excuse today tomorrow will be another excuse the next day will be another excuse 20 years from now it'll be another excuse but you know what? I could be there with a thousand with a thousand excuses. Every single one of them could be right. Every single one of my excuses could be right. You might be right about all of your excuses. You have every reason to not succeed. So what? Do it anyway. Would you rather? Would you rather have tried and failed? Would you rather just sit your life in regret and misery and overweight and sad and sick and depressed because you just didn't even get out of your way and tried? <sighs> I'm trying to think about when I try to force it too much, then the doesn't want to come out, and that's then I start repeating myself. The time's gonna pass. I've said this before. I'm gonna just say it. The time's gonna pass. I hope you guys take the time and at least do something with it instead of letting it pass and then 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 you're at the end of your life wondering what you do with yourself. Maybe you're right now in your life, you're not even at the end, but you know you don't feel as good as you can feel. You're not as happy as you can be. You're not as engaged in life as you should be. You're just not doing things. You're just expecting the happiness and the joy and all the positivity to just come to you. And I want you to put the work in for your own good because if you don't your mind's gonna lie to you and tell you you're gonna be happy not doing work being lazy being taken care of and I promise you just totally through experience that when you let yourself go it's it's one step after another you might feel initially happy you might feel initially wonderful maybe you have this moment like oh, I can relax now I could breathe in the air, I can just be where I am, I don't have to worry about anything. But how long is that going to last? How long is it going to be before you worry about something? But if someone came into your life and solved all your problems, how long would it be till you found another problem? Someone came into your life and gave you a mansion, how long would it be before you found something wrong with it? Something you don't like about it, something out of place, something that just ticks you. Someone gave you a brand new car, same thing. How long would it be before you found a problem with that? If, if some wife, some beautiful lady just came into your life and was just gonna take care of you, how long would it be until you found a problem with her if you can't even deal with your own self, with your own problems? I feel much better now. Might be a little in the dark. Really facing my fears, not exactly supposed to be where I am right now, but it's like I had to cross the boundary and just. Now I hear sirens and I'm worried. I want to get out of here. I just want to let you guys know, wrap up this video with the brain doesn't work the way you think it does. It works off of survival instincts, it doesn't understand our modern worlds and our modern needs. And it wants to grab you and pull you down into a little comfort zone and hold you there and keep you there and not let you get out and move forward and be successful. It doesn't want you to be happy and successful. It just wants you to survive. It's your job to push yourself to be happy and successful if you want to be it. Done. Whenever I shoot these, I always feel like there's that one last point that I just want to, it's like, oh, it's like I'm always like just missing that one thing. I just want to shove it and tell you guys. But I said this in another video. There's nothing I could tell you that's going to change your life. There's nothing I could tell you that fixes your life. I could help you feel better. Yes, you can watch my videos every day and I promise you, you're going to feel better for watching it. That's guaranteed because I'm making myself feel better from doing these videos. I'm, I'm trans this energy just has to rub off on you. The ideas and the thoughts I'm sharing have to change your mindset. 
but you're not gonna get you're not gonna just get the life you want by sitting around and waiting for it to come to you you're gonna get the life you want by you doing it I'm teaching you ways to make yourself feel better you have to do it though I can't really make you feel better I can temporarily give you like this little high from these videos but this is our world shifted only your actions can change your life everything I say should be taken as instructions as I feel like our whole lives is just about facing our fears <laughs> this video is already done but right now I'm walking back to my car and I'm like oh did I get a parking ticket? 